Hey, how's everybody doing out there? I'm coming to you from Greenville, South Carolina, namely up on Pelham Road. There's a closed PDQ restaurant. This restaurant closed back on February 27th. Uh, anyway, come to find out a couple days ago that they are going to put a new Whataburger at this location up here on Pelham Road. So that's pretty exciting. It's not too far from my house. So we'll be eating a lot of Whataburger. Anyway, let's go check this place out. Come along. So our PDQ restaurant closed down here, like I said, February 27th of this year. It was kind of an abrupt closing. As you can see, there she is right there. Let's go take a look. I had to look up last night what PDQ stood for. I always thought it stood for pretty darn quick. But actually, for this restaurant, it means people dedicated to quality. So I thought that was kind of interesting. Anyway, we'll take a look through the front here. It's clean. It looks like they just closed for the night. I was going to get ready to come back the next morning. Believe it or not, the landscaping still looks decent. There's a few weeds in there. So yeah, the floor is clean, the chairs are up. Looks like I could just go right back in there and open up. Okay, we have a sign on the door over here. Kind of a glory you can't see. It says, thank you to the community. We are sad to announce that we have made the very difficult decision to close this location. Our team has become deeply connected to the community and we will miss seeing you, our loyal guest, every day. PDQ. Bah! Let's take a look in here. Got the shake machine in there and the shake mixers and really everything looks untouched. Just up and left. I don't know if you can see it. Obviously I've never come to this restaurant or I would have seen up on the top there. I don't know if you can see it or not. People dedicated to quality. Let's take a walk to the back around the drive through area. Take a look in this window here. That's pretty cool. They have a hand washing station outside the restroom so you can wash your hands without actually going in the restroom. Sorry for the glare on the window. So as you can see, they've removed the uh, trans light from the, the drive through menu board. Take a walk back to the dumpster area. Ew, somebody's dirty diaper.
pretty nasty back here. I'm sure they've had vagrants living back here every once in a while. We got the riser room right here, whatever that is. That must be like the, where the CO2 and everything goes. And there's the drive-through window. It's pretty much spotless in there. Some gloves up on the shelf there. Another advertising board there. Of course, the trans light is missing also. That was the first drive through window, by the way. And we're going to hit up the second drive through window here in just a minute. We got another window in the back here. Looks like the sink area, prep area maybe too. Now we're up to the second drive through window. Now from this angle, it looks a little more tore up, but everything still looks pretty clean. So I think it's pretty exciting that Warrenville, South Carolina is getting all of these Whataburger locations. They're building them up fast. And I think they're going to open four or five locations at one time. So one location don't, you know, get totally slammed. It's the other side of the dining room. So have any of you eaten here at a PDQ restaurant? If so, leave a comment below and let me know how you liked it. Front entrance to the building, it's got a lock on it. Another view inside. You might be able to see it better. People dedicated to quality up there at the top. Pretty nice looking restaurant. Shame that it had to close, but it does get us a water burger. Now, I'm just curious. Are they going to raise this building and build another building on this property or are they going to convert this to a water burger? Actually, it would be pretty nice if they converted it. It would be pretty big. The one on Woodruff Road and Butler Road, they are converted Kentucky Fried Chicken locations. They closed last year and they converted. They're being converted right now as we speak to a 
What a brother. And there's a total view of the restaurant from this angle. Take a walk around here. And we are back around to the front. If you wanna know where this is at, it's next to the Wingate or Wyndham, across from the CVS Pharmacy and across from Starbucks. We're gonna go ahead and wrap this up. I'll see you back in the car. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this video up. I want to thank every one of you for watching. I appreciate and love every one of you. If you like this content, please like it, comment on it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Have more Whataburger stuff coming up, have more abandoned stuff coming up. Uh, I know that I've been away for a while, but for health reasons I've been away. But I'm gonna make an attempt to come back and do more videos for you guys. So keep me in your prayers and we will see you and you and you in the next video. Thank you. Bye, everybody.